and uh, he was like desperate, totally. Please, please, <laughs> I'm so low. Be my girlfriend. <laughs> Pretty much like that. Be, be, be with me, <laughs> <laughs> because my only friend in Japan is a rice patty, <laughs> and maybe a cat. <laughs> That's not even mine. <laughs> Is episode 50 talking about how I met you. Welcome to Taiwanica. What's up, guys? That's right, you heard me. It is the big five zero. We've made it another milestone. We have made it halfway to 100. It's a very major day here at Taiwanica Podcast. <laughs> Let me just give a round of applause. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here for this special occasion. My name is Eric, the one of the hosts here on Taiwanica, and also a life coach. Joining me today is, of course, the one and only beautiful Anita. How's it going, Anita? I'm very excited. Hi, guys. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How's it going today? It's pretty good, pretty good. The happy Monday. Not really that happy, but I'm saying that's so only make me feel a little bit better. Well, if you're listening to this on a Monday, <laughs> hopefully you're feeling happier than Anita. <laughs> Be happy, 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 joy, joy. Uh, yes. So today we are going to change things up with Taiwanica. We are going to start getting a little bit more personal, hmm. which is actually how we're going to dive into our new season of Taiwanica. Yes, you heard right. This is the first episode of a new season. We're going to get personal. You're going to mm -hmm. learn a lot about Anita and Eric from here on out. So yeah. get excited. We're a little nervous about it because nah. oh, okay, because there's going to be some embarrassing stories, exciting, <laughs> exciting stories about me again, uh, and some very naughty stories. What? I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? Where are we going? You'll tune in later. But today is a fun one. What is it about, Anita? It's about how we met mm. each other. That's right. The true story. The true story, not the story that we tell people at bars. <laughs> we have some confessions made. Yes. Yeah, so, so for some of you who are also our students who listen to this, you might have heard a different story from what we're about to tell you. So I always tell my student the the true story. Oh, that's good. By the way, I yeah. I probably don't. <laughs> yeah, because it's too embarrassed for you. So uh, this is an episode to shout out to my student named Jim. Jim boy, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for this idea for today's episode. All right. Oh, it was his idea. Yeah. Oh, is Surprise. that James, like, who likes Pokemon? Pokemon? Yeah, Pikachu? P my Pikachu friend. Yeah, Pikachu. My you Pikachu. Be a Pikachu friend? We're, we're fanboys. <laughs> if you are also a Pikachu fanboy or fangirl, <laughs> no discrimination here, definitely let us know. and Leave we'll a Pikachu emoji. In the description down below. <laughs> Just go to our Instagram, okay? <laughs> At Taiwanica Podcast. Anyways, so we're gonna have we have a couple versions of this story because well we're two different people and we have two <laughs> different sides. I'm gonna go first, and then Anita's gonna totally tell you that's wrong. That's totally the, you uh, know probably the opposite. So totally the story the goes like this. I'm just gonna totally interrupt Anita here. <laughs> it all started with a Finnish man, and <laughs> is it? Yes, oh. and thanks to this Finnish man, I decided to go and visit Taiwan, and wrong. In and in Taiwan, wrong. there was Anita, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to make her to stop saying wrong. She's super annoying. If you also think she's annoying, <laughs> mention it is today. No, okay. there's no. Okay. okay. Anyways, I'm talking here. <clears throat> okay. okay. So the story is, is that one day I, ha I met this new guy. He's from Finland. I'm not going to mention his name, Aro. Uh, okay. <laughs> and that guy said to me one day, hey, man, I love this country named Taiwan. Do you want to go together sometime, please? And I was, I was like, sure. I have no friends. You're please de desperate. be my friend. Okay. No, that's true. I actually had no friends, too. So we were no friends together, friends. And uh, he's like, let's go together. I was like, all right. I don't even know where Taiwan is, but I'm happy to go. And it was true. I didn't know anything about Taiwan at the time. Sorry, Taiwan. He but thought Taiwan is China. Well, I mean, you both speak Mandarin, so... It was... Are you Canadian? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you both speak English. Eh? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I love you Canadians. So then when I went to Taiwan, well, actually, let me don't get too far ahead. Before I went, I used this beautiful app called Tinder. Have you ever heard of it? Plus. 
Oh, Tinder Plus. It's a it's a, an additional <laughs> part of Tinder uh, where you can look for people internationally. It's like a passport mm. for dating. <laughs> and so I looked into Taiwan and just scrolled around the whole island to see if there's anyone interested in this Waikor and Eric. Not a lot of success, but <laughs> there were a few bites, and yeah. one of those just so happened to be Anita. Which will tell you why in a minute. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't because of fate. Uh, <laughs> you'll definitely... So far, I love the way you tell the story. It's... Please continue. No, I will. So, anyways, when we went to Taiwan, we first went to Taipei, and that was fun. I went to a club. I forget what it's called. What was it called, honey? Baby eighteen or something. Yeah, baby eighteen. I don't think it's called baby eighteen anymore. I don't think they. Yeah. Yeah, they probably <clears throat> they probably went to college, so <laughs> they probably made it twenty eight now. Yeah, anyways, so uh, we I, then afterwards I went to Tainan, and Tainan was fun. It, 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 lots of food. I was having a great time, and Aro was the Finnish guy. <laughs> uh, just so you know, he was showing me a lot of interesting Taiwanese food, which I thought was totally local. I was like, I thought it was super cool. It's like <laughs> I'm gonna have some bubble tea with like passion fruit jellies and yeah. really sweet tea, yeah. and it was really gross. But that was right before I met Anita, which Anita came from Taichung to come see me. Yeah. Which, if you think about it, in the past. That, that was actually kind of crazy of you to come meet a complete stranger in another city. And so I'm really <laughs> glad that you did because um, you know, if you hadn't, then we wouldn't be here right now. So it was pretty much love at first sight for me. We were at, uh, Aro and I were at the Tainan train station and all of a sudden I see this lady wearing ripped up jeans and like this heavy metal black t-shirt yeah. with curly long black hair with a little bit of dyed blonde in it, mm -hmm. just walking up to me in slow motion. All I hear I is this song, she's my cherry pie. People don't know about that song. You should look it up. It's a wonderful 1980s <laughs> way song. Too old. It's probably older than everybody listening to this podcast. <laughs> That's true. Times two. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that was pretty much the episode. Okay, <laughs> bye, everybody. <laughs> uh, no, that was pretty much how it all started. And uh, Anita, she definitely didn't think it was love at first sight. She thought it was like... Uh, a crazy oh, white woman, very desperate to yeah. find a nation girl. Yes. Well... <laughs> That's a very low... Yes. Uh, it wasn't quite wrong, that was it. <laughs> uh, so I pulled out all the moves, and, you know, I had really big beard and real long oh, hair oh, and i took her out to some bars and got some food and we saw like some famous places like chicken and you mm -hmm. know went to a famous bar at the time in tainan called legends yeah no um, not you, a legend anymore yeah not a legend no more we were like the last <laughs> legends in there <laughs> yes i yeah. think so too. because i think like the day after we were there it closed out <laughs> We were too legendary. <laughs> so shut the clothes. Up. Yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. So after that, she she hung around not just one day but two days with me, which I thought was even crazier. Like she's gonna stay two days with a white girl, and I was like, wow, she this lady means business. And so <laughs> with the second day, she hung out with Aro, the Finnish guy, mm -hmm. and me, and we all played mahjong in some oh. random person's house, who I still don't even know his name. He was we from... are on, uh, we're friends online, you know? Oh, did you? Are you? Wow. Yeah, we are. You oh, are, Oh, we too. are? Wow. I am, too? <laughs> yes. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, Lithuanian man, we love you. If you remember us, we're sorry we forgot you. But yeah, it was a really interesting time, and then it was about time for Anita to go back to Taichung because she had worked the following day. Mm -hmm. And so we were at the U-Bus stop in front of the Tainan train station, before they had their own bus stop yeah. and we're, i was just saying you know i really like you and uh, i would really like to keep these things going i was still living in japan at the time yeah, he wasn't so cool and it uh, was like desperate totally please please <laughs> i'm so oh, be my girlfriend <laughs> pretty much like that be 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 with me <laughs> <laughs> because my only friend in japan is a rice patty <laughs> It may be a cat. <laughs> it's not even mine. <laughs> I found it in the street. I named it Popo. <laughs> okay. 
All jokes aside, for some reason she said yes. And then I went back to Japan. We did long distance. And then I was so infatuated with her that I decided, okay, I'm going to give up Japan and move to Taiwan. And so six months later, I moved to Taiwan and then we, we were together happily ever after. So that's my story. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Thumbs up. Oh on, my God. on Facebook. <laughs> Who uses Facebook now? We're trying. We have, we have a Facebook group if you're interested. Just look in Taiwan and do a thumbs up. There's two people in there. Yeah, thank you, both of you. So, Anita, yeah. what is your story? So, yeah. You know, when I was young, when I met you, I was like 26, 27, oh, probably. So, so young. Wild. <laughs> Free. <laughs> That was definitely true. That was really free at that time. I was like, you know, no worry. In my life. I mean, I have a lot of worry, but I choose to live freely. And no Let's rules. Just say no rules. Yeah. Reckless. You name it. Everyone knows I'm like super crazy <clears throat> when I was young, like 20, 26, 27. Yeah, that's definitely true. That's definitely true. But tell them, tell them about how <laughs> we got connected on Tinder. Okay. So if you use Tinder, you know that. If you see someone's profile photos, you can scroll, I think it's left, swipe left and right. Like left is, I forgot which one is which, but anyone, anyway, one is like, one is dislike. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was playing Tinder at that time. I was like pretty into it and it's like a thing for me to play. It's really fun. So, but you know, when you're playing it too much, you just kind of seem like all the guys are pretty much the same. So at that time, we, me and my friend, we had this game when we we're drinking we'll exchange each other's phone so my friend at that time <clears throat> was holding my phone he she's not even looking too she's not even looking too she's just you know holding the phone just swipe keep dislike 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 and mm -hmm. when i was looking at her, her face i was giving her a hint give mm -hmm. her a hint and she yeah. will swipe to the like oh, side okay you know we're both not looking we're just saying you know play crazy okay that's how i match with Eric. Hey. So I didn't even know I matched with him. You know, like, I think it's the day after we played that crazy game, like me and my friend. I was like, oh, I matched. I had a new match. You know, sometimes they would show up the notification. Hey, you had a new match. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. So I, so I check out his profile. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I wasn't, you know. Do you remember my first picture? Of course. He's like, ah, the, 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 the Wookiee the, the Wookie guy. Yes, yeah. Because so I, I can do the Wookiee sound. Do it. Hey. If you know what Uge is, it's the monkey guy from Star Wars. Okay. We'll, we'll call him a monkey guy. Okay. Poor monkey. <laughs> He's a Chewbacca. He's a giant Chewbacca man. Okay. Okay. Right. Got it. So, <clears throat> yeah, I remember that. And I saw his photo. I was like, okay. It's, you know, pretty standard. Nothing special. But <clears throat> I check out his <laughs> interest. He likes the rapper Eminem. Mm-hmm. To be honest, I didn't care about people's interests at the time. For the matches, I would just true like to talk to people. She didn't really care about anything. I didn't. I didn't care about anything. I like winning. Like I got matches like the guy that I like, and I like the feeling that I send the message, they send it back. Winner, winner. <clears throat> so I used the quote from Eminem song, "Without you, you remember? Mm -hmm. Without me or without yeah, you? Without, without me. Without me. Yeah. If you don't know what the song is." Go Google it. It's a pretty classic rap song. So I quoted something, something, and then sent it to him. Huh. And I, I got an immediate response. So we were just... And he's pretty funny. Like, we're just talking on Tinder. <clears throat> he was pretty funny. And then we talked to each other about a month, I think. I think it was, yeah, about a month. Three maybe weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, yeah, about. And then he said, oh, I'm going to Taiwan with this guy from Finland. Aro. Yeah. <laughs> I said, do you want to meet up? He, and then he says, I'll probably stay a few days in Tainan. Mm -hmm. And then say, do you want to meet up? I was like, yeah, sure. <clears throat> I wasn't going to meet him, by the way. I'm right. just like, yeah, sure. She was just saying it. It yeah. make me happy. Yeah. And on that day, I think when you arrived in Taiwan, mm -hmm. And then he, you asked me about my line account. Then mm -hmm. we, before we only talk on Tinder. If you know Tinder, is like you cannot share photos. You can only send messages right. to each other. Mm -hmm. 
So <clears throat> when we are exchange, like I gave I gave Eric my line, and we become friends, and the photos from line was very different. <laughs> <laughs> the Wookie face. So I was like, oh okay, is this man dangerous or something? But I don't care. When he was talking to me, and then we just I don't really pay much attention and until the day we are supposed to m- meet each other. Yeah, I was like, oh, should I go? It was like Saturday, you know. I was just, oh, I'm just so lazy because of the day before I went to the club. You remember? Yeah, I was. <laughs> I went to the club with friends. So on Saturday, when I was supposed to meet Eric, I was just like lying in my bed, playing with my phone, not so sure what I wanted to do. And I was just like, oh, all right, all right, I'll go because it was I was so bored. <laughs> so I took the two, two hours bus <clears throat> to Tainan. You bus? You bus, yeah. And then I met Eric. And the first thing I remember, Eric, he was like so nervous. He was shaking. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Are you Anita? Are you? Are he trying to be super cool? You know, like, I'm, I'm cool. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I cool. I cool. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He didn't know any Mandarin. Not like, a no, lick. Not yeah. Not, not, a not single all. word. So he was just like, I'm super cool, and you know, the, and my hand was shaking and sweating, but I'm pretty to be cool. And he was like, so cool. I was like, hey, do you want to drink my drink? And then I drank that thing. <laughs> Like the, the, I don't know why you get that. I think people from Thailand probably understand like cha de moso. That's the the tea shop's name. Like they will put a bunch of like weird things together oh. into the drink. I think that's the specific type of drink that you can get from this specific tea shop in Thailand. Oh really? Yeah, and I was just like, oh my god, that's really yes. gross. Yeah, and then then we start talking, and he said he's from Portland. And for a moment, I thought, you know, Tainan is really loud. For a moment, I thought he's from Poland, Poland. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, Europe. Because I was like, at that time, to be honest, I was aiming for, like, a guy from Europe so I, I can go travel to Europe sort of thing. She wanted to marry a European. That She's That's... just being very polite about it. She just wanted to marry Oh, we're European. not going to be polite this episode. <laughs> this is going to be? Yeah, okay, right. no That's problem, right. no yeah. problem. Okay, here we go. I can do it. So, At least the beast. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, Poland. I was like, oh my god, so you're from Europe? I was like, no, I'm from America. I was like, huh, what? <laughs> he started to show me this place on his phone, which is where we are right now, Oregon, Portland. A lot of people never heard about this. And he keep trying to, you know, you know, you know all this place that we have? He came out naming the things that's famous here. <laughs> and I was like, no. Which you know, he still cool. doesn't know what they are. <laughs> yeah. So after <laughs> after we started talking and I was just, you know, I'm so hungry. So I'm just like, I'm going to eat food. I don't really care about this. Like we're in, and we just eat food. And he was like, oh my God, we have so much in common. I was like, what? Which we did. <laughs> She's not mentioning any of them, <laughs> okay. but there are totally a lot of them. Okay, so when we're talking, you are asking me, like, what do I wanted to do? Or what do I usually do when I got free time or something? Yeah, and she said, I like to go rock climbing. Yeah, I was I like, oh, I like to go rock climbing too, which was the truth. Okay, yes. And I was just keep on eating this food. and <clears throat> She wasn't paying attention. I wasn't. Anita really. was doing her favorite second activity in the world, which is to fa die, <laughs> which is to space out. <laughs> Like, she was looking at me the whole time like, with <laughs> blank eyes. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, I was really good at fa dying. It was my thing. Uh-huh. So, you know, the whole time he's been... After the after meal, we took a bus. We're supposed to go to the night market, but the night market was closed on that day. Ah, uh, yes. You remember? Mm-hmm. And then we went to your friend's place. Aro's place, by the way. It's not his place. It's his ex-girlfriend's place place a whole yeah. bunch of like weird situation happened total arrow i was situation. like what is happening and we went to that place and we you know he, the whole after the after he knows me i'm no, sorry after he knows about like my interest which is rock climbing he been saying that i i am going to take you to my hometown one day i was like hey. I was like, you're gonna love it oh my god you're so cool that's you know wow i just oh I, you are so, you just say a bunch of nice things to me. And then say, like, I really wanted to be your girlfriend. No, sorry. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey girlfriend. Hey, hey, girlfriend. I can do that too. Which makes more sense, but. Uh... <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, if it's impulsive the, on the first day, that would make more sense if we wanted to be the best friends. But he was very serious, and I would just say, "It's okay. We can just have fun. You don't have to say anything like that, you know." And but, but the whole time it was, he was like very passionate. <clears throat> that's the thing I can. That's the word that I can think about. He's, he's very passionate about me. And I was like, "How lonely you are you?" And you're like, "What? What? What are you doing in Japan?" Don't put yourself down so much. You know, you are a wonderful person. Thank you. And so it's just very easy to fall in love with you. I mean, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for saying that. But at that point, I for some reason, you know, when the girls are young, this is for me. I was always attracting for like people who are like the bad boy, the bad boys. You know, because I love danger, whatever. So when he says something like that. And I was like, okay, it's okay. But he's being very sweet, and we play games. I still remember our very first game, which also Aro taught me. Oh really? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Is any part of our relationship has not like Aro doesn't involve in our relationship?、Uh, we have to ask Aro. <laughs> Like yeah, I remember the game, which is how what I bought in the supermarket. Yeah. So basically, just you know, if the person start, they they pick up the things that you bought in the supermarket and it bounce back and forth. You have to repeat、Example. the whole list. Example:、mm-hmm. what I bought at the supermarket was a penguin. That was our first thing. You、um, remember? Of course, that's I remember. What I, yeah, that's what I said. What was the second thing? <clears throat> Beer. Come on, you have to do the game right.、Uh, what I bought at the supermarket was. Penguin and beer. What I bought at the supermarket was a penguin, beer, and a pirate ship. Oh my god, you remember, Eric?、Mm. <laughs> He remembers that, yeah. And what I bought at the supermarket was penguin, beer, par- parachute. Parachute. <laughs> What did I buy at the third day? Pirate, 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 pirate sh- boat. Ship. Pirate ship. Pirate ship. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Basically, just this is、know. the game. You can try it with your friends. It's a lot of fun. You have to remember a lot of words when you are drinking. It's like extremely fun. Yes,、yeah, so、I recommend tequila <laughs> or Kirin beer because that's what we did our first time. Also, Taiwan beer. I think that was a real first time trying Taiwan beer. Yeah,、right? it was. Yeah,、it、she introduced me to 18 days, and I was like, I want to have this every day. 18 days was so good. It's so good. So good, dude.、It. If you're drinking、so、18、good. days while listening to、cheers. us, we love you. Cheers. You know how to say cheers in Taiwanese. Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so we were playing games, and he's been very sweet. And then we go went out to the Limna. <laughs> oh yeah, that's okay. Okay.、Uh, yeah, we went to Legend. Oh yes. Right, the the bar that you just mentioned, and I totally kick his butt, playing pool and darts. You lost a pool. I was... <laughs> okay. Don't even try. <laughs> You're horrible at pool. I, I, yes, I,、okay. I. I still am. I'm really good. But darts, good you you destroyed. I'm really、me. good. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, so after that, he just kept on saying the whole bunch of like you know the 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 things we might face when we are doing long distance. I was like, dude, I wasn't even saying yes to have a relationship with you. But he was just like, I'll be in Japan for another year. So if you are in the long distance relationship, I'll be super loyal to you. That's my quality. I will never. Cheat on you, and I know it's going to be hard, but we can do this. I was like, "Who? We?" <laughs> yeah, her face was just was like, like "What are you even doing, dude?" Seriously. But I was so confident that she was going to say yes. I just, I the energy between us was just so strong. I could not see my life without her. So, like, so I was just like, "It's too late. You're you're stuck with me." <laughs> I'm sorry. I think it's pretty much it. Yeah. Right. As soon as I locked eyes on you, I was like, "Nope, I'm done." Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. All ladies. See you later. It was a pleasure <laughs> shaking people's hands.、Random. Tinder no plus. No, no plus. It's like minus. <laughs> Tinder minus. Yeah. Anyways, so it, it was the first night, and I think the very epic memories of that our our first time meeting each other is actually our first date. <clears throat> yeah.、Oh, that, and that. we got locked out. Because you, I, I、oh. forgot. Like you were supposed to get the key from Aro, but somehow he forgot to left the key or something. Oh, Nita's dropping into another part of the story. So we were all staying at Aro's ex girlfriend's house. Don't ask me why it's an ex girlfriend. <laughs> I don't even know. If you want to find at that out, point, they already are like ex boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. Yeah. But they were still like you know hanging out. They were friends. But the main point of that story was is that we were all crashing there. 
Aro's ex-girlfriend was a little bit, woo, okay, so, but she was totally fine with staying at her place. The only problem was is that Aro, for some reason, passed out. And so because Aro passed out. Got the key, right? He had the key. Yeah. And so we were calling him, even screaming out the window. I was <laughs> uh, like trying to make a lot of noise, and that man was a sleeper. And, <laughs> but we just never could get his attention. So yeah. we had to walk the streets of Tainan until we like, decided to give up yeah. around 2 a.m., 3 a.m., yeah. mm-hmm. and then we stayed at a love hotel. Now, nothing happened. <laughs> Seriously, right. when we nothing when we make happened. it to the room, we just both just passed out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> So don't get any funny ideas in your head while you're listening to this. I'm looking at you, Jim. Okay. All right. So at, anyways, we had two hours of sleep there. And we're like, man, this is an expensive two hours of sleep, but let's do it. So we just slept there for two hours and yeah. then left that. And the Ape from the front desk totally gave me like a dirty look, you know, I'm like a lady of the night sort of thing kind of situation. <laughs> oh, no, you have some fun. I was like, no, I'm just sleeping. Anyways. So, <clears throat> literally crashed. Literally. That bed was Swear so comfortable. God. Yes. I was like, <laughs> are you sure it's a love hotel? Because this hotel is solid. Like, yes, I was just the, like, the I bed so is hard. like so nice. Right? Right? Even the sheets is like perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Five star. Yeah. Five star love hotel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which means it's like a half star. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. The next day, what happened? I think after the love hotel, finally, we. We went back to the the Aro's ex girlfriend's house, and Aro finally is awake. And we did and open the door. Yeah. Open open the door, and we went back. And we just like kind of like washed, clean up a little bit, and then slept again. Yeah, for like a minute, right? They oh, went like they a, went out yeah. to have breakfast, and we were sleeping because we were oh, so tired. Remember? Right. And then right. we went all went out to meet <clears throat> our old friends. Yeah, mm. in front of outside of Chendan, there was a Seven Eleven. Right. Yeah. And this one other white girl walks right up to me and says, "Are you from Oregon?" I was just like, <laughs> "Who are you? The FBI?" <laughs> Like, why are you asking me this all? You've like, been charging in your lure the, the Asian girls. Uh huh. That's not true. Okay. <laughs> Just a part of the joke. Okay. And so yeah. So this guy was also from Oregon, which was really cool. I think he's mixed, right? He's ta- half Taiwanese, half American. Just like our baby. Oh. So, yeah, we made a bunch of friends, and we went to like a very local, like noodles place. Yeah. Yep, outside. Yeah, and this guy trying to figure it out my name in Chinese. I was like, ooh, ooh, pee roll. <laughs> You're such a fool. <laughs> <laughs> pee. There's definitely, a, there's definitely a pee in here. <laughs> yeah, anyways, we hang out with a bunch of them, and then, you know, he just, he, he thought in his mind that we are already in a relationship. Yep, and I, was, I wasn't <laughs> wrong. <laughs> No, I didn't say yes at that point. I, w- I still just... Our, yeah. Her mind was telling her no, but her body was telling me yes. <laughs> <laughs> Those eyes. Anyways. So we are hanging out, and then after, in the app, yeah, we play mahjong together. Yeah. And then after that, he was just like, Eric was like, <clears throat> I, I want to take you for dinner. Hmm. And he did. He took me to a fancy restaurant. Not really, like, you know... Five star fancy, but it's like decent, decent restaurant. Yeah, for good food. Yeah, outside of Chenda, like yep. the university, and then he, we were eating. I think it was pasta. I think pasta. Yeah, a bunch of with pasta. octopus ink. <clears throat> yes, and he was just like looking and looking me in the eyes and very, 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 very sincere and asked me the question: Do you want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> what is that face? Nah. <clears throat> what? So romantic. I know. It is pretty romantic, but you know, think about the story from my point of view. It's quite, quite crazy. And at that moment, I was like, I wasn't ready to settle down. I mean, I was, but I w- wasn't trust anybody. You know, so I choose kind of like, you know, just have fun. But he was very sincere and he kind of like hit me. You know, like, oh my god. There was no reason for this guy in sitting who's sitting in front of me to lie to me because we are going to do long distance. So it doesn't make any sense if he, you know, tricked me to be in a relationship with him. So I was like, yeah. 
<clears throat> why not right we're doing long distance we are even doing long distance if we don't really like each other after you know afterwards we can just easily cut each other out of our lives and cut each other out of each other's life so i was like yeah and then after that we are kind of he walked <clears throat> he walked me back to the u, u bus mm-hmm. station and at this point i still feel like doesn't you know it's not true because it only happened the past two days and but he was very sincere very sincere like scared me and i was finally it was my bus and i was sitting in the window seat i remember i was sitting in the window seat and you know when the bus was start slowly driving like leaving and this guy this crazy wagon was chasing the bus like he chasing the bus and keep on waving goodbye to me i was like, <laughs> oh my god that is so cute that's the point I, when i feel oh my god that's like you know kind of like the feeling like very romantic kind of feeling so i sent him a message immediately after we you know <clears throat> he's out of my sight i sent him a message immediately i was like oh my god i didn't i don't i i cry you know I, I i did i cry after you know you say goodbye to me like and you chase the bus it's like so romantic that makes me feel love you know re- <clears throat> when i was young i have love issue with my family with friends with uh, a lot of relationships i don't feel love that much you know so but when he did that it's totally like hit me in the heart real hard like he really cares about me even though we're just two days seeing each other talking to each other and online for a month and uh, yeah that's how we met each other and become boyfriend and girlfriend and uh, yeah we do long distance for like six months yeah yeah in between we met it we met each other from time to time from like two different places like japan taiwan vietnam <clears throat> those places and yep. finally he told me like he's ended the tr- uh, contract in like it's a time for you to renew for eric to renew his contract see if you wanted to stay for another year mm-hmm. in your same job in japan and he gave up on that chance which is also another good sign for me that he really cares about me and because it's a really good job that like that's his dream job ever since you're in elementary school. elementary school that's a job called jet program yeah yeah he ever since he was in elementary school he wanted to get that job which he you fail on the first time the interview mm-hmm. yeah and twice. he oh, twice you fail twice mm-hmm. and you got the job a third time mm-hmm. which is the the year that i made you mm-hmm. okay so yeah, in the third try, he finally got his dream job, but he gave up on that for me and moved to Taiwan. All for you. Oh. 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 All right, let's not get gross. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, after six months, he just like, he, he's not going to renew the contract. He's going to move to Taiwan for me. And he's serious because he, at the same time, at the moment when he made the decision, he started to apply for the language school. Yeah, like the the language school in Chenda, and he also got a scholarship. So everything is like already, and then then two thousand eighteen, you came here. Seventeen, I think. Two thousand either seventeen or eighteen yeah. September, he yeah. moved to uh, Taiwan. Yep, and that's Taiwan. how we first met. Yep. So. Before the waterworks start kicking in and, you know, we all start crying from all the beauty of uh. how amazing Eric is. But... <laughs> totally ruined that with that sentence. Uh, but... We really hope you enjoyed this story and we'll be diving in more about our story and how everything kind of developed from this oh. in further episodes. So mm-hmm. if you like this episode, definitely let us know. We would love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in today. Anita, yeah. any last words before we finish up? True love is not something that you can meet. It would just happen to your life. It's something that you built with someone together. True love all starts with the first step. The first stone that mm-hmm. you, you guys built together, built together. Put down together. Yeah. Yeah. Our story so far being really romantic, but you know, real life isn't like that, which we will leave it to our next episode. Yeah. I yeah. mean, there's 
there's many sides to love. Today you that's got to true. see the the honeymoon phase. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, that's a honeymoon phase for you, and it will be like really bloody <laughs> reality side of our relationship. Oh yeah, there's war. There's not. That's yeah. It's, yeah. There's screaming babies. Yeah. But in the end. Yeah. I love you, babe. I love you too. All right. <laughs> see you again next time. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to Taiwanica. If you're enjoying the show, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. That helps others find the show, and we greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for listening, and we'll catch you in the next episode.